Nameless. Here are five Jane Doe cases from 1980 to present. Case 1, Delta Dawn. Over three decades ago, on December the 5th, 1982, the unidentified remains of a young child were discovered in the Dog River, which is located beneath the westbound lane of I-40 in Jackson County, Mississippi. According to witnesses, a baby was seen in the area with an adult female, possibly her mother, about two days before the discovery. On Mississippi Highway 63 and National Interstate 10, near the border of Alabama. It is believed the baby might have been the victim later found in the river. The woman was carrying the child and walking above the bridge between midnight and one o'clock in the morning two days previously. Reportedly distressed, but refusing help from passing vehicles. Within two days of these sightings, a man called the police to report the discovery of a body in the river. It was clothed in blue plaid shirt, lying face down, at 7 a.m. on December the 5th, 1982. The body is now presumed to be that of the adult woman. When authorities arrived on the scene to process the scene, they instead located the child's body. The sheriff who found the child, later dubbed as Delta Dawn, mistook her for his own daughter, who was later found to be alive and well at his residence. Authorities immediately believed that the girl had been thrown from the bridge to the area where the body was found. As the child's body was blocked by weeds, it was unlikely that the girl's body had drifted to that location. The woman's corpse was never found, and she has never been located alive. If a body was seen, it was not hers. At the time of Delta Dawn's discovery, the riverbed and vicinity were visible, giving high hopes that the remains would be found. Searchers conducted via helicopter and boats. On December the 9th, the skeletal remains of an African-American man, aged 16 to 21, were found just 60 yards away by one of the search teams. He also remains unidentified, but it is not likely his case is connected. An autopsy performed on Delta Dawn's body concluded that she had been alive when she entered the water and had been intentionally deposited into the river. Evidence in her lungs indicated that she had drowned, although someone had attempted to smother her before she entered the river. It was concluded that the official cause of death was inhaling water upon impacting its surface. The girl wore a pink and white checkered dress or shirt decorated with three flowers on its front along with a diaper. A local police officer and his wife funded the victim's funeral. The officer's wife coined the victim's nickname Delta Dawn. She is buried at the Jackson County Cemetery after an hour-long service. The means of paying for the ceremony were donated by local businesses and their employees. In 2007, a graveside memorial service was conducted in memory of the victim. Since her discovery, the girl has reconstructed forensically in efforts to identify her through facial recognition. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has released two illustrations and their artists have produced their own renderings. If alive today, she would be 33 to 34 years old. She had blonde hair and either brown or blue eyes. If you have any information regarding Delta Dawn's case, please contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-843-5673. Or 1 800 The Lost. Case 2 The Baker County Jane Doe. A young woman was found roadside after suffering severe injuries on May the 24th of 1985 in Newton, Georgia. She died at the hospital on June the 1st while in a coma. Her death was ruled to be an accident as she likely fell from the vehicle although she may have been thrown from one. There is no evidence of foul play at the scene. She is between 15 and 35 years old. She had blue eyes and brownish blonde hair with blonde highlights. She is tan and also had stretch marks on her buttocks and stomach area. The victim is between five feet and five four inches tall. She weighed between 110 to 120 pounds. She was slim build, with light complexion. She wore a gray shirt and jeans with the name Allison Mills 
which has not been verified to have been her name. She had white shoes and socks and a bandana with the colors of the American flag. A white pillow was also located with the victim. She was exhumed in 2012 for DNA information. Anyone with information regarding this case should call the tip line at 229-734-3001. Case number three, the Lumberton Jane Doe. The body of a female between the ages of 15 and 22 was found in Lumberton, North Carolina on June 2, 1978. She was located at the edge of a field and died weeks before her body was discovered, resulting in decomposition that made determining her eye color impossible. The girl was between 5 feet and 5 3 inches tall. She weighed 100 to 120 pounds at the time of her death and was white with brown hair and wore a short sleeve shirt with a hood with several different colored stripes and jeans. White open toed shoes were found with the victim as well. She had several fillings and also some of her molars were removed. Her fingernails and toenails had been painted a reddish color. No signs of violence were observed on the body. Anyone with information regarding the Lumberton Jane Doe case is urged to call 1-800-843-5678 or 1-800-THE-LOST. Case number four, the Harris County Jane Doe. On August the 12th of 1985, the body of a Hispanic female aged between 16 to 35 was found inside a vacant store. Her body was discovered alongside that of a man who was identified as Thomas Rodriguez, and her death occurred only hours prior. She was between 5 feet and 5 2 inches tall and weighed approximately 120 to 140 pounds. Other distinctive details regarding her case include two sets of distinctive earrings she wore containing beads and shells, a tattoo on the upper left arm with a letter V, and a scar resulting from a gallbladder being removed. A necklace with an arrowhead and turquoise stone design was also found with the girl's neck. It is unknown how both victims were placed at the scene. If you have any information regarding your case, please contact the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences at 713-796-6774. Case 5, a Davidson County Jane Doe. On March 19, 1998, a white woman between 45 and 55 years old was found in the Cumberland River in Nashville, Tennessee. She believed to have been shot twice in the head the day before she was located. The victim was overweight for her height, weighing at 167 and 5 feet 2 inches tall. Her teeth were extensively cared for and estimated $10,000 worth of work was observed, indicating that she was from a higher socioeconomic class. The Jane Doe wore only athletic pants, underwear, and one Reebok shoe. Her hair was brown with highlights and her eyes were green. She wore jewelry, including a gold necklace with a Leo Zodiac pendant, two rings, one gold and one black. A man was seen with her at the store before her death, who wore the same pendant as her. He has never been located. In 2011, her DNA was entered into the national database with no results. If you have any information regarding your case, please contact the Tennessee David County Medical Examiner's Office at 615-743-1800.